Hey, good morning, Council Road. Uh, our devotional this morning comes from Matthew 18 and 19. And today I want to focus mainly on chapter 19 and specifically the rich young ruler who comes to Jesus and says, what do I lack? I have all these things. What do I lack? And Jesus looks at him and says that you need to go and sell all your possessions and give it to the poor uh, and then your tre- and have your treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. In verse 22, we see that the The young man heard this and he went away sorrowful because he had great possessions. And I think there's something for us to see here today. We've heard this this story many times, but there's important gospel truth in it that the gospel doesn't command us to have all of these things or do all of these things to inherit the kingdom of God. Instead, the gospel says that we don't. We can't come to Christ by our own works, by our own merit, by our own deeds. Instead, it is on the work of Christ. So when Jesus says, go and sell all that you have and follow me, he's not just saying sell all that you have so, you can, so that you can um, uh, know, know me personally. He's saying, hey, you, you, you care about these things more than you care about God himself. So Jesus says, follow me. And I think when we read this passage, we have to be reminded that we are first to follow Jesus and see that he is the ultimate treasure in all of life. And that we should lay aside every treasure that we, that we have or we desire in pursuit of Jesus because he's more fulfilling than all these other things. So this rich young ruler is, is uh, sorrowful because he has put his hope in his things, in his works. And as Christians, it's so easy for us that we know the truth of the gospel, that we're saved by grace through faith. It's not of our own doing. It is a gift of God. But don't we so often want to be saved by our own works and by our own grace and by our own merit? Or we think that we are saved by our own grace, our own merit, and it is bondage to us. But what Jesus offers us, he says, come and follow me. You don't need the things of this world. You need Jesus. And so I hope today, church, that you would uh, take heed of the warning that we see in Matthew 19. Follow Jesus, to, to let go of the worldly things that we have, to let go of our own deeds, our own morality, and trust in Jesus Christ. Uh, because He uh, is our salvation and He is our ultimate gift.